today is sort of step two on the mugs I'm making for the Hill Center show, Pottery on the Hill. Um, I made these about two days ago, and now they're stiff enough that I can handle them without deforming them. I want to trim the bottom, it's a little rough here. I'm going to put a little cobalt slip on them. This is a white clay, which Star White from Starworks down in North Carolina. And my cobalt slip I usually put on a darker clay so it comes out closer to black. These I think will be bright blue. There's different ways I can apply the slip. Sometimes I pour it or dip it, but I kind of like brush marks a little bit variegated on the surface. Once these are a little bit stiffer, I will stamp them with this fancy brass stamp I've made or had made and put handles on them. All right, so this is the painful part. This is the stamp I had made, set off the artwork and had it made. It's probably, well, I know it is, should have had it made in two parts because it's a big stamp, a little difficult to get it wrapping around pot as well as I'd like. So, I've tried different schemes. This was part of my scheme, but I rejected this part. And now, I'll just turn this big old dowel here. Glasses off to see. Carefully, as equal as pressure as I can possibly get. Of course, you have to catch the clay at just the right stage. I'm getting better at this. A second dozen. And that's the final product, just about. Except sometimes I mangle it a little bit. Well, because I want these mugs to be extra special, I'm adding a few little clear glass beads to the surface of the mug. Another somewhat painful process affinity for creating pottery that involves a lot of tedious work. Anyway, I obviously have an infinite capacity for doing tedious work. If you've ever seen my birds, you'll know what I mean. I made thousands and thousands and thousands of little balls of clay to create feathers and even my stamp on my pots is made from little balls of clay. Anyway, I'm hoping that these are going to melt and run down and create little flames through the slip that I've applied, the cobalt slip, and that a little tiny sort of donut shaped impression will be left started out. Just do one more here. I like putting it near the teapot, dome, capitol building. Pottery on the hill at the hill center coming up. Uh so I'm gonna make some lugs. Lugs are the handle parts for a mug. Straighten it out with your hand, a cupped hand, and you, then you use your thumb, but you have to tilt it some because your hand is not perfectly round. And then you use your thumb to do the same thing to make it more even. 
Okay, now we're going to cut the rug to the right size. 